Hello students. So now we'll be solving the question number 44 from code D for the physics section of JEE May 2017. So in this question, we have been given a mass of 1 kg, which is acted upon by a variable force, which is time dependent. And the variation of this force with time is given by f is equals to 60. So my force is not constant, it's changing as the value of time is changing. And from the equation, it's clear that it's increasing. Now my particle starts at rest from at time t equals to 0. That implies that at t equals to 0, the velocity of my particle was nothing but equals to 0. Now we have been asked to find out what is the work done by, the, uh, by this time dependent force on this particle in the very first second of the motion. So the formula or the concept that I'm going to use over here is that my work done is nothing but integral p dt. Now why am I using this integral sign? Because my force is not constant, implying that my acceleration won't be constant, implying that my velocity won't be constant. So in order to find the work done, we need to go by the integration method. So we'll first start in calculating all these terms. So the solution for this would begin by me writing as force is equal to mass times acceleration is equal to 60. Now since I know that my mass is equal to 1 kg, my acceleration would be 60. So the first step is fairly simple. Now I know that in order to calculate the power, I'll also need the value of velocity. So my velocity is nothing but, uh, so my, I can write my acceleration as nothing but dv by dt. So in calculating the value of v from here, I get it is equal to 3t square plus c, which is some constant of integration. Now, in order to find the value of c, I'll use my equation, which uh, I'll use my condition, which is given in this question, that at t equals to 0, my v equals to 0, which would imply my c is nothing but effectively equals to 0. So I can write my v as v is equals to 3t square. Now my power is nothing but force times velocity. And hence, that is nothing but 3t square into 6t, which will give me 18t cube. In order to find the value of work done, all I need to do is integrate this value of power as a function of time from t equals to 0 to t equals to 1 second. And when you integrate this 18t cube dot dt, that is the work done from t equals to 0 to t equals to 1 second, you get the value as 4.5 joules. So the work done by this time dependent force from t equals to 0 to t equals to 1 second, that is in the very first second of motion, is nothing but equals to 4.5 joules. So if you like our solution, please subscribe to our channel. And if you're really liking our solutions and you want to see more, please hang on to our channel as we are going to upload more and more video solutions very soon.